In this video, we understand the difference between unsigned binary and signed binary. A lot of content in SLR11 binary assumes you already have a solid understanding of the various number bases, including base 2, binary, base 10, decimal and base 16, hexadecimal. If you've not seen it yet, we suggest you watch the previous video on this topic. We already understand that the fundamental unit of information is the bit, and there is no smaller unit. A binary digit or a bit is simply a zero or a one, and having just two states makes it simpler to build electronic devices. We also know that when we use a number system that contains only these two digits, zero and one, we're using what's called the base two binary number system. The base 2 binary number system can only make use of 0 and 1, and all other numbers in binary are made up of combining these two digits. Column weightings start on the right hand side with a 1, and multiply by 2 as it's a base 2 number system as we move left. Here we have the binary number 1011. That's a 1 in the 8 column, a 0 in the 4 column, a 1 in the 2, and a 1 in the 1 column. An 8 plus a 2 plus a 1 is 11. We also know that 8 consecutive bits make up 1 byte. Here we see 1 byte's worth of 1s and zeros being used to store the decimal version of the number positive 155. 128, a 16 and 8, a 2 and a 1. Notice how we just said positive 155. What if we wanted to store the binary equivalent of negative 155? Well, you might wonder how this is possible. The smallest number we seem to be able to represent is zero by placing a zero in every location on the binary waiting line. As soon as we add a single bit, a one, even in the smallest weighted location, that's the right hand column, the number becomes positive. So how can we possibly represent negative numbers using this system? Well the answer is, we can't, at present. The representation we've shown you up to this point is known as unsigned binary, which can only be used to represent positive numbers. We call it unsigned binary because the weightings of each column are unable to represent either a positive or negative sign value. By default this means that all the column weightings in unsigned binary are positive in nature. To represent both positive and negative numbers, we need to use a form of signed binary. To do this, we take whatever format we're using, in this case 8 bits, and we change the purpose of the most significant bit, the MSB. In this case, this is the leftmost column, the one that previously held the 128 weighting. As we're using binary, we can still only use a 0 or 1. However, the 0 or 1 in the MSB column now is being used to represent the sign. In sign binary, we use a 0 in the MSB to represent a positive number, and a 1 in the MSB to represent a negative number. The method we use to represent positive and negative signed binary numbers is 2's complement, and we'll look at 2's complement in more detail in its own video. There are other ways of representing negative integers in binary, but this is the only method that you're going to see in the exam. Having watched this video, you should be able to answer the following key question. What is the difference between signed and unsigned binary numbers?